Hello folks and welcome back to my XCOM UFO Superhuman Antarctic Challenge. We will now proceed with the game. Well, I guess I was here. Yeah, we are flying back from a mission. If I guess it right. So... Did I already sold out this shit? Did I? Yes, I did. Okay, now let's uh, uh, take a uh, closer look about uh, our soldiers. Uh, I said I had several features enabled with uh, Xcomutil. One of this is uh, an automatic C screening. As you can see here, I have here an impressive guy with 69 Psionic Strange. This is symbolized by the Star Strings with a great P. We have here another guy with a great P also, which means he has a Psionic Strange higher than 80. He also gets a small R because he has reactions from 50 to 59. If he has 60, he gets a big R. Um, then we have here another one which has a great P, small W and a big M. Well, M stands for fire accuracy, which means big M means he's a marksman or sniper. And he also has great C strange, and the W stands that is strange as well. Low, he has only 21, so he's a weakling. But this really doesn't matter. Um, I will only use guy with a great P, and the other ones I will sort out with the time. Uh, well, he needs to come back first. Well, come back. So let's see. You will be trained, you will be trained, and I need some more. Well, I will also use the guys with the small piece. Yeah. And the other ones I will hold back for now and later then fire them. So, how is the research doing? Oh, good. Well, I need to wait since this shit must be completed first. Well, there comes the laser pistol, and we will straight go for the laser rifle. And since I only have a squad of six people, I will now go and build some laser pistols. Um, six in this case. Oh, well, I can even build more. I will build ten. Because the producing cost is 8,000 and I can sell those suckers for 20,000. So, this should make them neutral if I produce ten and use six. Neutral and uh, economic uh, department. Oh, okay. Well, let's check the graphs. Yeah, high activity there, I know, already know this. <sighs> Should I fly up there or not? Mm. Yeah, okay, more storage. Six days. Oh, well. Nothing happening here in Antarctica. This is really, really getting bad. Ah, one day. And we can now equip our squad with laser pistols. 
Six one of them. Oh, we can scrap this damn fucking uh, rifles. Oh, but we will keep them. Come on. Ah, uh, we have no new living quarters. Nineteen hours. So what do we need? We need more research. More, more research. Ten more researchers. Well, come on, first laser crystals. Okay. Well, we don't need this much clips. We'll keep some. So, you see they're neutral. Well, research is going. Well, we will produce some more. Just to make a little bit of money. We'll produce 16 of them. And before I forgot it, I forget it. Um, isn't there? A what is them fucking cannons? There are so. That sucks. You might wonder why I'm doing this, but I will trade uh, one of the interceptors against a uh, second scoringer to have more radar surveillance. Um, okay, uh, just in case, fly up there, I'll patrol a little bit, maybe I could capture the roof, okay, ah, but the laser rifles have completed, oh, this is really nice. Well, no research in motion scanners. And we will now produce some laser rifles. They don't come cheap. Six days! You're kidding me. Yeah, yeah, they have arrived. Ah, more research is coming, very good. More research. Oh, this takes long. We have a UFO! We have a UFO! You, we have a UFO! Um, okay. I will not try to shoot it down. I hope it will land in the day, I hope, and then I will engage it. Now come on you little sucker. Well, we have a ground mission there. <laughs> uh, we need to save before a ground mission. We will finally get some Illyrium.